Hey guys, it's Yesenia. This is the second vlog. Um, the first article I'm going to start off with is Writing to Think Critically, The Seeds of Social Action. It starts off with talking about the little girl named Kendra. Um, she carries her notebook around with her and just jots down things that she sees, like her blue jay, and she also talks about her soccer team and her grandma's apartment. Just little things like that that can just... Um, loot like they can just slip out of your mind so easily and that way when she flips that back through her notebook she can remember oh yeah well, I saw that and oh yeah I saw this um another thing in here um I liked a lot was the thing about him taking like the class like walking around the neighborhood or like around the campus just to get an idea of like what they can write about and like just something to stick in their mind they can write about um also, like, the, um, looking at some object, one little object, can blow your mind and go into a whole, like, either a fiction story or nonfiction, just something that can trigger your mind, and you can go ahead and just start writing about it. Um, I really like this, and I, like, agree with Mr. Um, Bomer, um, because he, uh, he likes the students to write about social issues more than political issues, but deep down inside, like, they are really, um, political issues. Um, I remember, like, being forced to, like, read a prompt and then having to write a paper about it, and that was really no fun. Like, I believe students enjoy writing much more if they are able to pick their own topic. Um, the next, uh, article using the writer's notebook across the day and um, beyond the writing workshop. Here she talks about um, how the notebooks are being used as like fillers throughout the day and that I see that like being true because I remember whenever I was little and in school that you know when some students would be done they would say okay get out your journal and you know write in there just for fun and or just write about your day and that can get a little boring sometimes um, and not too much fun. Um, I really liked how um, she would use the notebooks as like a drafting and crafting, revising and editing notebook um, like throughout the writing process. Um, I like that idea because um, I like a place where I can collect my thoughts. Um, like in a class while like the teacher is teaching and the student is supposed to be listening. Um, but the student can like just think of something totally random and have to jot it down right then and there. And um, that's how I am. And at 20 years old, um, I can't imagine, you know, like little kids, they'll just slip their mind real easily. But um, I also liked how she went around and to the different grade levels and saw how these notebooks were being used. Like in the fourth grade, um, she saw the little boys, and his were very unoriginal and not personal because he was starting off at the same the same way each time. Um, having a notebook um, will create students to be able to share what they want to and do whatever they feel like, pretty much. I mean, they can even just doodle and draw pictures just to keep themselves. Um, reminded of what happened or something like that. But, um, well, this is the end of vlog number two. Hope you like it.